Debbie Wasserman Schultz and the DNC are having their day in court. That's right, because Bernie Sanders supporters have finally, finally reached a date where we're going to see what's going to happen in a court of law. Now, this case, if you're not aware of it, it's the case that was brought back in October of 2016 when a group of Bernie supporters, Jared Beck and Elizabeth Beck, started a lawsuit, starting a lawsuit, filed a lawsuit against Debbie Wasserman Schultz and the DNC. Now, we know Debbie Wasserman Schultz was the former chairman of the DNC during the time when the complaints were alleged that the DNC was not playing fair with the Bernie Sanders campaign, that the DNC in no way, shape, or form allowed for an even playing field for Bernie Sanders running as a Democrat. Not only was Bernie cheated, but all of the people that gave to Bernie Sanders' campaign were basically giving their money away for nothing other than good feelings. Because in the battle between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders, the DNC was colluding with Hillary Clinton to get their favorite nominee nominated. So this has been going on once again since October 2016. A federal court in Fort Lauderdale, Florida has recently issued an order of appearance to the lawyers representing the DNC in former DNC chairperson Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Now that hearing is set for today at 1.30, or it was set for today at 1.30, but I've been unable to get an update about what's going on. It does not mean that there is a breakdown in communication. It could just be, according to my fans on Twitter and the folks who follow me, they just haven't come back with a decision yet. Hey man, I wanna know what's going on with this case. I, this, I, I'm on pins and needles. I want to know if the DNC will be punished for what they did. Now, it's very important for you to know, guys. Anyone who's out there skeptical about this case, and maybe, maybe, you, uh, maybe this is the first time you heard about it because it's not something that the DNC, you're not going to hear it on the Unity Tour. Tom Perez ain't going to be talking about it. Bernie won't bring it up, probably. I don't, I don't see him bringing it up. It's what Sam Ronan alluded to when he was running for the chairmanship earlier, well, a couple months ago. It's about the cheating of the DNC. It's about the unfair practices of the DNC. What's very important to note is that the DNC, when this case was alleged, when it was filed, when the allegations were made that the DNC cheated you, Bernie supporters, cheated Bernie, and basically stole money out of your pocket, they said, hey, you should have known it wasn't going to be fair. You should have known we were going to cheat. What are you thinking you're going to have a de Democratic runoff or a race in the Democratic Party for? You silly people. You got you to know how we get down. That is their defense. Their defense is that since there were people posting online how unfair the DNC was to Bernie, that anybody who gave money to Bernie should have known better because they were not going to allow Bernie or they were actively working against Bernie getting winning the nomination of the Democratic Party. I think this is just something that people need to sear into their brains. And as much pushback as you get for your criticism of the Democratic Party and the DNC, it can't be fair criticism when you imagine or when you sit it up next to or you juxtapose it to what's going on in this law case. Once again, guys, the DNC is not defending themselves saying, hey, we didn't cheat. Hey, we didn't have an effort to, to destroy Bernie Sanders. Hey, we, we played fair. No, their only defense is, you're damn right they cheated, and you should have been smart enough to know it. And then they wonder why there's no unity. I don't think there are people out there no matter how vote blue any who they are, no matter how supportive they are of the Democratic Party, who have heard me say this to them, very simple, like I just said it. If Rachel Maddow would say what I said, just plain. If Chris Hayes would say what I just said. If Joy Reid would just say what I said, very simple. That would go a long way to repairing the tensions between progressives and middle of the line Democrats or Republican like people in the party. 
But they won't say it, guys. They won't say it. It's the thing we have in this country where we don't admit our wrongs. And then we use propaganda people who sit up in front of you on screens and mitigate truth and equivocate and produce false narratives instead of just saying, you know what? We screwed up. We did a wrong thing and we're going to make you whole. We're going to do our best to make you whole. Instead, what they do is they give you platitudes. Oh, you're so cute. Come on, let's work together. Let's work together now. Put all that aside. I know I slept with your wife, man, but come on, bro. You're going to have to let that go, man. There you go on being selfish again. There you go. Bringing up the past. 